So, this is uh, Jason E. Street, uh, DEF CON Group's Global Coordinator. I'm here in wonderful Shenzhen, uh, China. Uh, I'm at the joint uh, DC010 uh, and DC86755 meetup here. Uh, and I'm talking to the founder and the coordinator for the DC010 uh, group uh, from Beijing, uh, Jun Li. It's like, let's give a talk to him. Hi, Jun Li. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. It's like uh, so. Um, how did uh, how did you get started in DC? Uh, actually, how did you get started in DefCon? How did you actually? Uh, when was your first DefCon, and uh, what got you started in it? Okay, I I heard of DefCon in 2015. And I submitted a paper, a talk to DevCon, and uh, my, t my talk got uh, approved, and uh, I, I was invited to give a talk at DevCon 23, I think. But when I could, went to the consulate to apply for a visa, I, I, I was asked this question, why are you going to the US? And I told them I'm going to give a talk at a conference called DevCon. Is that a hack conference? They asked. I so I told them yes, it's a hack conference. Uh, uh, no, I, I told them actually uh, yes, yes, it's not all about hacking. Uh, right. It's a hacking conference, but it's not all for, uh, about hacking. It's doing good, good, good thing. Okay, but uh, they rejected my visa, right. and I think that might be the common case for many hacker Chinese hackers because uh, tension between China and the US is very. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, I think uh, when I. Uh, met Jason at uh, Syscan, and, uh, and then later we, we, we met many, many times. And Jason told me that you, I can start a deaf camp group at, at my own city, Beijing. So I was very excited. I think I want to start one so everybody can have, have a place to meet and to talk with each other. So, uh, so that's how I got started. And uh, I talked to Jason, and Jason approved my deaf camp group application then uh, at last year's uh, internet conference in China we just fire up the dev con group one, uh, zero one zero so mm. that's how we get started I just want to uh, bring dev con uh, group to China for many people to enjoy it because I think dev con is really great the spirit of dev con the hackers at dev con is very different than we thought before we went to dev con Right. Because you know, Defcon hack, hack, uh, Defcon hack, hacker have hacking and hacker have a uh, broader sense of meaning. It, uh, they mean like if you're doing something good and and very uh, focused on it, you are hacking that something, not just computer security or whatever. You, you can you can be car repairing or whatever. Very nice. So, um, what do you want to see happen? Uh, at your DEF CON group, for, for a, what does the DEF CON group mean for you? It's like, is it a place for people to just drink and have fun, or is no, it no, because no. it's about learning? It's like, well, for some people it is, it's just a social place to meet. So, uh, what is uh, what is DEF CON groups for you? What do you want to see DEF CON groups become here in, in uh, Beijing? Okay, I think Deep Calm Group is not a place to drink. Of course, you can drink here, but <laughs> right. not, not the not the main goal. Right. Uh, yes, I want to. At first, I want to like gather around a bunch of people to talk about uh, like techniques, question, uh, problems I that I I w would have. But nice. now I see that uh, as many people are enjoying this DevCon group and they are having fun and learning stuff here, I think that's kind of achievement. I'm very happy and proud of that. You know, everybody can learn something. That's you should even, be. This is a great uh, meetup. Yes, it's everybody is having fun here. I think that's great. I think, right. I think it's important to for the Chinese hacker hackers hacker communities to get in touch with the uh, overseas or hacker communities, right. uh, with the communities all around this world. Yeah. I think that's very important. I agree. It's yeah, like it's, uh, yeah. And do you think um, with the DEF CON groups here in China, it's like do you think this will help? Uh, Bring that bridge that gap of communication of community between the the uh, the Western DefCon groups and the Eastern DefCon groups. Do you think there'll be more uh, a way to collaborate? It's like how would you like to see other groups in other parts of the world um, maybe collaborating with you here in China? 
Of course, I think bringing DEFCON group here is the first step. As you can see, we have like included many nano village right. uh, just like the smaller version of DEFCON villages. I think. Right. So I'm introducing DEFCON elements into China's hacker meetups. Right. So as, as this is the first step, maybe in the future I will like collaborate with other uh, hacker communities like in other countries, India, actually in the Africa or whatever. Right. So I think maybe there they have some, some difference. They might be different than the death count. And right. Us. So I think it's very good. Yeah, I think so too. It's like I, I'm very impressed and very happy with uh, it's. I mean, just in a year's time, okay. that that it started out when we started out uh, in Beijing yes. to uh, see uh, the DevCon group uh, 010 start out so big and the spirit of DevCon coming here yes. and really. Uh, you know, just getting involved in this community and, yeah. and giving back to the community, it's a great thing. It's like, uh, I think you guys have done a great job. Yes, thank you. I, I'm very excited as well because, you know, I have come to convey the idea of that kind of spirit that they come to them that hacking is not only about computer hacking. That's right. what always Chinese people think about hacking. Hacking is like a, take off, a bunch of enthusiasts at, maybe they are good at uh, uh, something they, they share with each other. I think that's the yeah. broad sense of hacking. Definitely. So uh, I'll leave it on one last thought. It's like if using this opportunity, what do you want people who have never been to China, never been to a DEF CON group maybe either? Yeah. It's like what do you want them to know about uh, the DEF CON group uh, 010? Okay. Okay. I want them to know that the Dev Camp group and Chinese hackers might be different than the so. Right. Yes. As 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 long as you didn't haven't come to China to this group. Right. Or our other group like in, the group in Shenzhen, we don't like uh, criticize Chinese hackers for doing like the evil stuff. Evil right. Things, yeah. Because Chinese hackers are like, I think it's more like naive or innocent than other hackers, right. maybe, I think. Because they are, you can see they are willing to share what they are doing. Right. The, those, the stuff they are doing is very valuable and very... So, so what you're saying is like, uh, a lot of people stigmatize hackers in general. Yeah. Uh, and, and make them look like negative, but yeah. that also goes into the hacking community. It's like they stigmatize Chinese hackers yes. even more so. Yes. It's like, and, and so, and, and that's not, and that's, it's unfair to criticize all yes. hackers in one group, yes. and just as it is to criticize Chinese hackers yes, as a subgroup. Yes. You, you can tell from the news of the like, US media, right. they always like use like, notorious Chinese hackers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the good news is, is now they're now they're all picking on Russian hackers now. So it's Russia, like the, okay. the media's moved on. As it's in, like as we are, as we Chinese hacker community have encountered this problem, I think it's at least you should let the Russian hacker community see. Okay, you, at least exactly. you should go there to see what they are doing in order to like doing. Uh, I totally agree. It's yes. like the it's it's very easy for the media to scapegoat or for people to uh, if they don't understand the thing to, to make assumptions. So yes. it's it's good to actually see yeah. uh, DEFCON groups in action here. It's yes. good to see uh, what's going on. It's it's some great work. It's a, a great community here. So yes. thank you for your time. Thank you for. Uh, for uh, sitting down and talking to DEFCON groups. Uh, I greatly appreciate I think, it. I also thank you for coming a long way from the U.S. to attend our DEFCON group. It's great. And uh, you, as you can tell, that you, your talk got the most questions <laughs> okay, uh, in, in this. Right. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Boy.